we get asked all the time what is open cell neoprene so all wetsuits are made from neoprene and it's a piece of rubber that has certain things attached to it depending on what kind of suit it is old conventional dive suits have a piece of neoprene and then they have nylon on one side on the outside and then they also have another layer of nylon on the inside and that makes the neoprene quite strong but it restricts the stretch and it means that water is free to pass by the nylon when you've got it on so you're constantly getting cold water flushing through your suit and making you cold the reason we use open cell neoprene is because there is nylon on the outside for strength but we leave the inside bare and what that means is that when it's on you it suctions onto your skin and forms a bit of a seal so that when you're swimming around water's not able to slide through that material and constantly cool you down so huge warmth property another thing with the older dive suits is because there's not a lot of stretch the fit has to be perfect off the rack because there's not a lot of room for it to mold and fit you in certain places. With the open cell neoprene we use, it's super, super flexible, and that's why we only size it off weight, because if you're in that weight category, you, the, the material will sort of stretch and mold and fit all different shapes and sizes. So I'm quite tall, I'm almost six foot tall and 65 kilos. My suit would also fit someone that was quite short and 65 kilos because it would still stretch and mold to fit their different shape. So that's the beauty of using a material like this. One thing though with open cell neoprene is you have to be really careful with it. The outside is super strong. Pulling on this material will not damage it. Stretching it will not damage it. It's when you dig your fingers in and put heaps of pressure on the inside of the material. So I'll give you an example. So without digging my fingers into it and pulling, I can put tears in this material, as well as digging my nails in and pulling as well. I put little fingernail marks. So when you see marks like this on the inside of your wetsuit, it's because you've grabbed it and pulled it a little bit too hard. The fabric is not able to split like that, just under pr stretching pressure. However, if this happens, it's really, really simple to fix. You just need to make sure you're using the right glue. You can't use any glue from Bunnings or Mitre 10, not just any old hardware glue. You can't use Aquaseal because what Aquaseal will do is seal it up, but it stiffens the area so it can no longer stretch, and that will rub against your skin, which isn't very nice. So you want to make sure you're using proper neoprene glue because it's really flexible and it will mold the neoprene back together. So this is the stuff we're selling at the moment. This is super high quality neoprene glue that is the same stuff that's used to actually make the suits in the first place. You need to just get a few dabs of this, dab it in the area that's been torn, put a couple of layers, press it all back together, leave it to dry for a couple of hours, and then it's as good as new. Half the time, you can't even see where the hole was in the first place, and the area has now been reinforced with that extra glue. So uh, a feature that we've done on our jackets to help with the durability of the neoprene is that we've put a lining on the base of the jacket because what we find is when you're in a bit of a hurry, you're being a bit rough, you, when you put the jacket on, you grab the base of it, you tuck your fingers right up and you yank the suit down and then you end up with all these fingernail marks on the inside of the base of the jacket. So the inside of ours is all lined so you can see all the beaver towel and all the front of it is lined so that when you put it on you can gently grab the nylon and pull it down quite hard without worrying about digging your nails into it. And it also means when you're pulling off the jacket you can also grab the base and pull it off again without worrying because what you sometimes tend to do would be turn it inside out, grab all the material and just rip it off and that's when you put your fingernails through it. So it's with this neoprene, it's not a case of it being bad quality or fragile, it's just the nature of the material. It's the one thing that you've just got to be a bit mindful of to get all the great benefits of wearing something that's significantly warmer, significantly more comfortable and significantly more flexible than any other type of wetsuit and we can guarantee that.